why did it feel so unsatisfying? Major Jujutsu Kaisen spoilers. Um, we're gonna be talking about it. Let's talk about Gojo's death. Gojo's story revolves primarily around his feelings about Ghetto and how he let it those affect him to the point where they became a literal weakness, something that could be exploited by our main villain Kenjaku. And so when we finally get Gojo out of the box and he talks about wanting to warn Suguru's body, as well as wanting to free Megumi or have to deal with this whole Megumi situation, we think that we're building up to something involving him doing those things, right? And it would make sense so much for his character because his two main focuses were Suguru with dealing with those emotions and with Megumi who represented the future of Jujutsu society to him. Like, I mean, come on, remember this panel? So beautiful. And just to talk about the whole burial aspect again, in the anime, they've added in part of the funeral of Itadori's grandfather, of Itadori picking up the remains, the bones from the ashes of his grandfather. This process of, uh, you know, recognition of death, not necessarily mourning, but recognition is so important. And death processes are super important to the themes of JJK and to the inspirations, even with the death wound paintings. Um, I, that's a whole nother video. Keeping this in mind, let's go to this page and look at Kenjaku spinning <laughs> ghetto scalp around on his finger. I love that. But anyway, Gojo again, his weakness comes from not being able to process Ghetto's death and not properly getting rid of his body. We have see right here, he's saying, you didn't have Shoko Yeri get rid of Suguru Ghetto's body, did you? And of course that allowed Kenjaku to take it over. So what a beautiful conclusion it would have been if we had seen Gojo be involved in the burial, the disposal, the mourning of Ghetto's body. And I know the story isn't over yet, so maybe we'll have something somehow, but I mean, Gojo's in the afterlife, so it's hard to imagine how. We're gonna go to burial. So when seemingly Gojo's whole story comes down to Sukuna giving him some praise and him getting a good fight out of it, it feels unsatisfying. Like in terms of how he's affecting the living and how he's even grown as a person, this is not satisfying, especially since Gojo and Sukuna had not been interacting up to this point, not really. Even when Gojo and Ghetto are finally reunited, one of their main focuses in their conversation is about Sukuna. Even this moment here where he's talking about essentially not being able to reach out to Sukuna, being able to get to him, even while giving him his all, showing him his all, it feels too similar to his situation with Ghetto and him coming to that conclusion that you can't connect with everyone, you can't save everyone, sometimes you have to let them go. And so it's like, what? So again, you weren't able to connect with someone? And, and why do I care? Um, this was another issue I had was that Gojo was like expositing about Sukuna without us being shown any kind of connection between the two of them. Uh, as readers, of course, we've been making that connection between both of them being really powerful and we're supposed to assume that Sukuna is lonely literally just because of what uh, crazy chick said, Yorozu said. <laughs> and that was based off her literally just looking at him. And I, 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 I just have such issues with this and it makes me so sad. So in the end, we don't get to see Gojo mourning or burying Ghetto, and we don't get to see him free Megumi, this person who represented the future for him. And of course, these two things are the things that he focused on when he got out of the box. If you wanna hear more of my thoughts on this, I have a podcast episode. It's about 20 minutes long. Uh, let me know what you think in the polls and you can leave comments there too. And I'll probably be making more videos about it on here because this is just, it's such a huge chapter. And of course, I love Gojo so much and I have so many thoughts about this. But yeah, it wasn't all bad, but it, it just wasn't satisfying. <laughs>